when you experience an eclipse, you feel that connection with space. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at the ray structure! The universe is out there and it's affecting us. We are in space. And here it comes, there's the diamond ring. And that is the most spectacular sight. <laughs> You haven't seen it. You haven't seen anything. Hello, everyone. I'm Acting NASA Press Secretary Faith Mackey, and thank you for joining us this morning as we look forward to the upcoming total solar eclipse on April 8th. During today's press conference, you'll learn more about what to expect during the eclipse, how you can participate, how NASA and government agencies will use the eclipse to advance science, and how to view it safely. Today's participants include NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy, NASA Associate Administrator Jim Free, Director of NOAA's Office of Space Weather Observations, El Sayed Talat, and NASA Eclipse Program Manager, Kelly Karek. After remarks from each of our participants, we will gladly take questions from the media. Now I'll hand it over to Administrator Nelson to kick us off. Good morning. Before we get started, we were supposed to have the Federal Highway Administrator, Shailene Batt, with us this morning. You've probably seen the emergency that's happening in Baltimore. Our thoughts are certainly with them. Our prayers are with the people and the families involved. I've often said that at NASA, our mission is for all humanity, and that's because space brings us together. There's no better proof than moments like this, a total solar ellipse. It's a moment when millions of people across North America will look to the heavens as the moon passes in front and between the sun of the, and the earth. And it's a rare sight that we haven't seen in seven years. And unusual things start to happen as the normal rhythms of Earth are disrupted. When you're seeing this eclipse, you ought to observe this. As the day appears to turn to dusk and then dark, people have heard birds stop singing. They've seen giraffes suddenly begin to gallop. Roosters start crowing, and crickets chirp. So watch for these unusual behaviors. And we encourage you to help NASA observe the sights and sounds around you. Eclipses have a special power. They move people to feel a kind of reverence for the beauty of our universe. Their power is not only to unify us on Earth, but to further science and discovery. In 1919, Albert Einstein's theory of gravitational bending was proven when scientists measured how stars shift when the sun is blocked out by the moon. And today, over a century later, a total solar eclipse still brings great opportunity in science. Pam is going to share a little bit more about how NASA missions will use this rare moment to advance science. Safety is always NASA's number one priority, and that remains true for this solar, solar eclipse. 
Make sure you have the proper eye protection, like the eclipse glasses. And as you look at the heavens on April the 8th, when the eclipse starts, please, please put those glasses on. Now, I'm going to hand it over to Pam.